A few years back, my girlfriend and I decided to take a road trip out of the blue. We had no set destination, just wanted to get away for the weekend, drive through some back roads, and see where we ended up. It was one of those spur-of-the-moment things. I always thought the best trips were the ones you didn't plan for. So we packed up the car, grabbed some snacks, and hit the road on a Friday afternoon. We were in the middle of nowhere pretty quickly. Nothing but empty highways and a few small towns along the way. The kind of places where the gas stations look like they haven't been updated since the 80s. It was peaceful though. We stopped a couple of times, got out to stretch our legs, took some pictures by the fields. Everything felt right until that evening. We were driving through this stretch of road surrounded by forest on both sides. No lights, no signs of life, just trees and darkness. The sun had already set, and the sky was a mix of deep purple and black. That's when we saw an old man standing on the side of the road. He was dressed in old, dusty clothes, like something from decades ago, and his thumb was out, hitchhiking. Now, I'm not one to pick up hitchhikers, especially not in the middle of the woods at night, but the sight of him was off. Something about him felt wrong, even at first glance. I glanced at my girlfriend, and she gave me a look that said exactly what I was thinking. Keep driving. So that's exactly what we did. We passed him without slowing down, and for a second I could have sworn he turned to watch us as we went by. I sort of just shook it off even though I was a bit weirded out. But here's where things get strange. Maybe 20 minutes later, we're driving through this same stretch of empty road and up ahead. There he is again. The same old man, same clothes, standing in the same position with his thumb out, as if we hadn't just passed him. There's no way he could have gotten ahead of us. We hadn't turned, we hadn't slowed down, but yet there he was. At this point, my girlfriend was freaking out. She asked me to speed up, so I did. We passed him again, and I made sure not to look at him this time. The road kept going, dark and empty, and I just wanted to find a motel or something to stop for the night. And then about 15 minutes later, we saw him again. Standing there on the side of the road, same old man, same spot, same hitchhiker pose. I slammed the brakes and we both sat there in shock. There was no way, no way that this guy could have been in front of us again. We hadn't passed any roads or cars and there was nowhere for him to have gotten ahead. We stared at him for a good few seconds before I snapped out of it and hit the gas, speeding past him again. This time, I didn't care if it seemed reckless. We just wanted to get out of there but as we drove on, something even worse happened. A truck pulled onto the road behind us out of nowhere. It was this old black, rusted thing. Looked like it hadn't been driven in decades, but it was catching up to us fast. The headlights were dim, barely illuminating the road, but the engine roared like it was pushing way past its limits. I sped up, hoping to lose him, but the truck stayed right behind us, gaining on us with every second. My girlfriend was practically in tears, begging me to go faster, but no matter how hard I pushed the car, the truck was right there. It got so close, I thought it was gonna ram into us. Suddenly, the truck pulled up beside us, and I finally saw who was driving. It was the old man, the same hitchhiker, now behind the wheel of this monstrous truck, staring straight ahead, emotionless. I floored it, trying to outrun him, but he kept up, side by side with us on this narrow road. Just when I thought he was gonna force us off the road, the truck swerved ahead of us, cutting us off. I had no choice but to slam on the brakes, skidding to a stop. The truck stopped too, a few feet ahead. We sat there frozen, wondering what to do. Then, without warning, the truck's lights turned off and it vanished into the dark. There was no sound, no sign of it driving away. It was just gone, as if it had never been there. We didn't sleep that night. We kept driving until we reached a town, never looking back. We never spoke about it again. But every now and then, I wonder, if we had picked up that hitchhiker the first time we saw him, would we have made it out alive?